look at the priorities in front of India uh, and 20 square kilometers in the, in the length and breadth of India is minuscule is big, the word. Uh, but the idea of Auroville is far larger than what we are physically, correct? So should we, should we rest that government will at some point pick it up or should we take the responsibility to do it ourselves, okay? And if you can add to that also, if you can reflect your thoughts on when it is an international zone, should Indians like, should we keep out of it? Should we leave it upon the you or the Belgian uh, citizen to think about the reaching out to the Belgian uh, government? Or if it is, if we should all forget about which nationality we are here from, but look at, appreciate multiple cultures, nation, souls and try to invite them ourselves. And that could be the responsibility on everyone, each one of us. Uh, so should we rest or should we take the responsibility on it? Yeah. So I'm just thinking like in the, in the current context of what's happening, um, mm. I think uh, the Indian government obviously is paying attention to Auroville, is going to, it ha is putting, going to put money into Auroville. Um, and I think one of the reasons for that is because in India there is a growing understanding of yoga mm. uh, and integral yoga as part of yoga. Um, and uh, so, you know, if you're talking about India taking a leadership in the spiritualization of the world, whatever, you know, people think about it, if we take that seriously, mm. then uh, the Indian government uh, can take a role on, of taking this idea global and saying, listen, we have these, uh, this international zone mm. and, you know, will each country contribute to it? Because um, I think globally the idea of integral yoga is something that is not very well known or, mm -hmm. or well expect, uh, uh, accepted. It's something that is going to grow. Yeah. And um, so I don't think countries are going to take the initiative. I don't think Aurovillians as individuals have the financial, in, Auroville doesn't have the financial, uh, itself have the financial capacity to build this, mm. uh, this zone. Um, so either the Indian government can say we will finance it mm. as our contribution. Yeah. And um, uh, the different countries uh, put in your resources, right. you know, universities, artists, governments, yeah. whatever it is, your ideas into each, each of these uh, pavilions mm. uh, and uh, either the, the countries finance it or India or the Indian government finances it um, as a move towards this, uh, you know, the whole idea of, uh, mm. of diversity and, and unity. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if we have to, um, if we have to do it ourselves, the impetus has to come from us, uh, then naturally the question is also that how do we lay importance on the cultures, various cultures? We often go by the, the cultures that we are often aware about. And in Auroville, we are, we are uh, you know, uh, more than uh, necessary we lay importance on the European cultures, right? Uh, how do we reach out, for example, even the African pavilion, we, we gave a full continent as a pavilion. It's not like Botswana, it's not like Mali, it's not like Congo, right? For Europe, even for the tiny countries, we have given pavilions. So that's how we lay our emphasis. emphasis. So how do we uh, ensure that, you know, Madagascar's of the day and Peru's of the day and Iceland's of the day and, you know, I don't know, uh, like uh, Timur East of the, of the day, Borneo's of the day are represented you know, equally well. So, yeah. yeah. So, I'll just, <laughs> so I, I mean, this is where I think uh, Borovilians themselves would be limited mm. in their own conceptualization of, of these mm. cultures. Mm. Um, and so what we can do, like, he, like Manu said, uh, be catalysts for the project as a whole, mm. but then leave the detailing mm. Uh, to the countries and the representatives of the countries, mm. and again, it's the same thing: is that it's not going to be static. It's not that once something is uh, is is established, it's going to be there for you know, two hundred yeah. years. Mm. Things can keep changing, and uh, if something is 
not represented correctly or there's something that's missing yeah. can be added you yeah. know it's is going to be a constantly changing uh, thing yeah. but uh, definitely i don't think orovillians uh, we have the capacity right now at least yeah. of uh, of conceptualizing everything fair enough at all yeah